Hi, welcome to the channel. I've got something to show you, something I received through the post. It's this, it's called Think Car. It's a Think Car 662. And it is a automotive di diagnostic tool. I just about couldn't say that. So inside the box comes an OBD2 reader with the plug. Now, this is quite good. This connects to the internet. So it's when you're updating a car, you know, you're getting live data for the internet. You know, if there's updates for that vehicle. Um, and I found the best thing to do was actually Instead of hooking up to the Wi-Fi at the house, we hook it up to, to my mobile phone and use a hotspot because that way, even if I have to go down the road or anywhere at all, this will link up to my mobile phone and I can sit and scan any car and uh, look for fault codes, do diagnostics, reset things. Anyway, I'll show you more about it. So here's the scanner, um, you've got an off on button up the top here to switch it on, you're ok, you're up down left right and your backwards button. So this is pretty much, I'll just go through it quickly. So you've got VIN number, so you can search for your VIN number, um, you can uh, diagnose, so this gives you quick access to the vehicle's system and diagnostics, manually selecting your vehicle's brand, model, year, engine type and other information. You've got OBD, supports read fault codes, clears fault codes, freeze frame, IM readiness, data stream, O2 sensor monitor, onboard monitor and test control, which means you can switch on to that, start your vehicle up and you can actually ask it to perform tests and it'll do that and it'll check all your components out. You've got history here, view diagnostic records. So every time you, you do diagnostics on a car, it'll store it. You can put a micro SIM in here up to 128K, um, 128 megabytes. Is it megabytes, gigabytes, megabytes? I can't remember. But you can put a code in so it saves everything. Um, you got your history reports. Um, feedback, you can give feedback and it'll update it online. Um, yeah, there's the feedback community. So, we'll go back here. This is diagnostic. Then you've got the maintenance button. So on here you can do your ABS, your airbag, if you need to reset it after a collision. You can battery maintenance, register the battery after replacement. Um, you got your brake pad reset, you know, if you need to reset that. Your DPF, it checks your DPF. You can regenerate your DPF with this if you think it's choking up and it needs to be regenerated. Um, electronic throttle adaption. Uh, it'll in initialize your throttle actuators to the default state. So it resets your throttle more or less. Um, you've got gearbox learning. It helps complete the gearbox self-learning to improve gear shift and quality. So every car, the ECU learns your gear shifting and it adapts to how you drive so this resets it so it'll readapt again um anti-theft key matching so you can match keys if you lose your key and you need to program a new key you can do it with this um here's a fancy one injector coding write the new injector code into the car system for correct cylinder injection quality i mean uh, wow you got oil reset so if you've got a car that has an oil reset and you can't get rid of it you can put this on and reset your oil lights um steering angle reset cars that have electronic steering if the steering wheels turn into one side or you feel the car's pulling you can actually reset the the steering you got your tmp tpms reset which is your tire pressure if it's been faulty you can reset it with this or if you send your car in to get new tyres and your TPMS isn't working properly, you can reset it with all this recalibrate it feedback report history. We go into history and I'll show you something that I've got here. Michael's Ford Ranger is 
a bit rough at start up and when I put this on it, it tells me that it's a crankshaft sensor. Now you can go into the history of the car. Oh, I need to connect it back up for that again. You can go to the report though. This was the report and this is what I got earlier. So it's a 2016 USA Ford Ranger Mazda B Series um, Duratec Turbo Diesel, Duratorque Turbo Diesel, common rail injection. Tells you all what the car is. Now here is the important part. Crankshaft's position sensor. I've got a P033538 and that shows there's a problem with the crankshaft sensor. I also got this one. A P0480, it's fan one control circuit error. So that tells me there's something wrong with the radiator fan. It could be the fan itself, it could be the wiring, it could be the relay. I've got a relay tester so I can test that. Um, and then once I get all that working, I'll get it all reset again. So there, it's, it's given me a, a couple of different things about the crankshaft sensor. Now, that's the good thing about this, you put the chip in it, the, the memory card in it, it'll store all that memory for you. Um, I'm going to just run that back again. So that's what the thing can do. But the big question is, will it work? Well, I've already used it in the Ranger, I'll show you how that goes. So the first thing you need to do is find the OBD port, which is in here, I took this panel off it's sitting in the bottom here so what you do is you get your plug and you just plug that in and then you put your ignition on now um, I'll need to go and find the keys so the first thing I need to do before I do anything is turn my hot spot on there we go hot spot on it says zero devices connected so I'll go into here and Wi-Fi is on. It's detected the oh, cancel. It's detected the the Google Pro. So that's it connected onto my one device connected. It connects automatically now, so that's not a problem. So what I'll do? Ignition on. Yep, I hear you, I hear you. So, we'll go to diagnostics and I'm actually going to run this. So it runs a wee bit rough at start up. So what we're going to do, diagnostic. So we'll hit enter, general four. Just takes a minute to load in. Because this, this uh, when I was in it earlier, it, it was recognising more the USA one. So automatically search. Loading vehicle data. Yes. We're going to do a running test. So we'll see what this does. So there, it's testing all the components. It's testing the, the accelerator. There's the revs died down again. So that was testing all the, the powertrain controls. And we'll see what it comes up with. So there we go, crankshaft, position sensor, fan control. This is coming up with exactly the same as I had before, so you can click on that. On demand, it's a P0335 C8, so again it's a crank position sensor. Okay, so we can clear it, if it's got codes, we can clear all the codes. Codes clear. So there we go, there's 101 things this can do or more um, to your vehicle. So yeah, if you were putting a new injector in and you had to recode it, you do it with that. Um, 
you can do the OB2 scan and it, it scans a whole system. I mean, you saw that scan in it, you know, it was lifting the revs up, dropping them down a bit. It was checking the the throttle control actuator and everything like that. It's, um, it's quite surprising. I mean, it's, you know, it's a good wee PC kit. I've done a bit more with it, you know, apart from this. And I found it really easy to use. I mean, it's a date proof. It's Dan proof. <laughs> but it really is good. Um, but what I'm going to do is, is I'll put a link to this um, down in the, the, the description. And there's also a, a code there so you can get a, a, a decent sized discount off of this if you want to purchase one. It's no like these machines that cost thousands of dollars. I mean, this isn't hundreds of dollars. But, geez, if you've got a car that you have problems with, especially, you know, something like a Ranger, um, or any car, for instance, or if you're always fixing people's cars, doing your mate's cars, or even if you have a garage and you want to get one of these machines, that'd be a good start for you. But for a home mechanic like myself, you know, just thinking about the cars, yeah, you jump into your car one morning and your ABS lights on, plug it in, find out what's wrong. It might just be a fault in the wire and a moisture in the plug, or it might need the ABS control module replaced, who knows? But this will tell you, you know, and if it says there's no a fault, but the code's coming up, it could probably just be moisture, you know, when your plug causing your ABS to, to go off. Um, but no, it's a really good PC kit. So I think if, if you want one, yeah, just go down to the description, go and have a wee look, see what you think. Um, if you want to know more about this, just just leave some comments and, and I'll get back to you. And, and yeah, um, this one, it seems to do everything, you know. Um, I can't emphasise that enough, it just does everything. I'm really pleased with this. Um, I've got a lot of use out of this. But like I say, the other one I've got, I hooked it up to my, my Wi-Fi in the house. So when I'm out here working on it, if something interferes with the signal, oh, it's a pain in the arse. This one I've linked to my hotspot and my mobile phone. So if I have to go 10 kilometres away, 50 kilometres away, down to a mate's house because he's having problems with his car, I can take this with me and I, it just hooks onto the hotspot in my mobile phone. As long as my phone's getting a signal, this is getting a signal. Um, and you can diagnose any fault with any car. Um, the other thing that's good about it is it does just about every car I can think of. It's got all the US cars, it's got Australian cars, European cars. It's even got Chinese cars. Would you believe it? I, I see there's uh, Great Wall Motors is in there. It's also got SIAC Motors. It's got, um, what's the other one? BYD? Build Your Dreams or whatever it is. The one that gets a lot of dodgy thing with. It's even got them in it. So, I mean, yeah. If you've got a machine that works and it does some cars, but, you know, you've maybe bought yourself a Chinese vehicle, this one does it. This one covers them all. Just in case you were wondering, I don't know if you can read that or no, but look at that, it's even got Ashok Leyland, which is in India, Audi, Auto Search, in case it's not in here, Aston, Rolls, Brilliance, BYD, Bayak, whatever that is, Changi, Chrysler, Citroen, Cherry, Changin, Crown, Demo, Don Fug, gee, some of them I've never heard, of. DR, Daewoo, Dehatsu, OBD, UKID, Fuso, Fucar, Ford, Ford Australia, Four, whatever that is, Photon, Ferrari, there's Fiat there, Geely, General Motors, Honda, Hyundai, Helma, Holden, Australia, Isuzu, um, Indian Force, don't know what that is, you know, but that's just Land Rover, Mercedes, Mitsubishi, Mahindra, uh, Maserati, Maxxis, Mazda, Nissan, Opel, Vauxhall, Peugeot, Proton. I'm not reading them all out. I'd be here all day. Didn't it? Suzuki, um, Saab, TPMS. That's a tyre pressure monitor. Uh, Volvo, yeah. So that's uh, the sort of stuff, you know, that will scan. So there you go. That's the new Think Car diagnostic tool um, and it'll do according to this it says it'll do just about every car 
Um, yeah, that don't surprise me at all. It works really well. And it picked up the fault with this, even although there's not a fault, it's not the, the sensor that's away, the crank sensor. It's actually the bit on the flexi plate. There's holes in it that the sensor picks up. And I think I bent a couple of bits, so the, the, the thing's not reading properly. It's only picking up the signal now and again. Makes it difficult to start. Anyway, I'm going to go into that tomorrow, straighten all these out, see how it runs. It's just a bit rough at tick over. But, um, and then I'll check it again with the OBD2 reader. And, yeah, and hopefully everything should be okay. So, yeah, so if you fancy one of them, down in the description, um, there's a link to it there online. Um, you can buy them online. I'll put a code there that will give you a discount. And uh, if you do decide to get one to try it out, happy motoring, or I should say happy playing, because it's like having a new toy. I've been playing with this all day. Um, I, it does, uh, I've done the Ranger, I've done the Qashqai, I've done the old 2009 um, Fiesta, did it no bother. I'm going to get a try in my KTM uh, just to see if it'll work on that. I very much doubt it, but I'm just going to try it, see if it'll find out. Um, and yeah. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll catch you all later. Um, and if it did work on the KTM, I'll put a wee bit at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>